Hello, this is Don with Mexoft Support. In this short video, we're going to take a look at how easy it is to set up a part using Visual Cam 2016 for SolidWorks. Now, as you can see, I have uh, this particular version of SolidWorks is 2016. Uh, we also, uh, our plugin also runs in SolidWorks 2010 and higher. So we have Visual Cam 2016 plugin installed. We see the Visual Cam 2016 tab in the Command Manager, and also we have the Mill browser uh, displayed here on the left. This is a typical uh, two-axis or three-axis uh, part, and we're going to both two-axis and three-axis uh, set up your part is exactly the same. So we'll go through that. First of all, we'll go ahead and pick from the Program tab of the uh, machining browser, we'll pick the machine icon. Now first thing we want to do is select the machine tool coordinate system tab. You want to make sure that your machine tool coordinate system is oriented in the direction that you want to machine. In other words, if you have your this part laying on your uh, CNC uh, bed, uh, you obviously want your Z direction to be pointing up if you're going to machine this top face and also you can align it to which direction you want to be laying in the x-axis and the y-axis on your machine bed. So by default for this part, uh, our z-axis on the machine coordinate system is already aligned the way we want it. We want to machine this top face, so we don't really need to do anything here, but you can use these commands to uh, select, for instance, a face that you want to machine, or you can rotate the uh, machine axes using these options. Now, over here on the machine tool definition, you want to make sure that the uh, number of axes is set to three axes. That's what it's set to by default. So for both two and three axis operations, we'll set it to three axis and pick OK. Moving from left to right on the program tab, next we're going to define our post. So if by default, we have the, uh, the house controller selected for our post. We have over 250 post processors already defined. And also, if you need to make tweaks to your post or we, if you need uh, a post process uh, generator created, just pick the Edit tab and uh, we can use our built-in post process generator to actually configure a post for you or you can make tweaks to your post using this dialog. You can uh, control each uh, section of the post processor here and we'll go ahead and close that. So after you select your post process post processor, the next thing you really need to do, only thing you need to do on this dialog is make sure you have your post to file extension set to the file extension that your controller on your machines is expecting to see. So for instance on Haas, we'll go ahead and set it to NC. If you don't see your extension file extension here, you can pick this button and you can add new extensions. So we'll pick OK there. So now we have the machine defined, we have the post defined. Next, we'll go ahead and set up our stock. Depending on your uh, product configuration of Visual Cam, you can uh, create different types of stock for your part. All configurations support a box stock, so we'll go ahead and select that. And the, a default stock displays on the screen. And initially, you can go ahead and pick the Copy Model Bounding Box button, and it'll show you in the dialog uh, the length, width, and height of your current part. So we have a uh, part that's five and a quarter by four and a quarter by uh, half inch tall. So let's go ahead and set our stock dimensions to say six by five by uh, say 0.625 for a stock. And you can measure the stock from one of these coordinates uh, in the dialog. Let's go ahead and select this coordinate. You'll see that the stock got larger based on our dimensions. So we'll pick OK there. So now we have our stock defined. If your stock doesn't show on the screen, just go ahead and pick this stock visibility icon and to turn your stock on and off. So now we have our stock defined, we want to align it with our part. So go ahead and select the line, and you can select the Z alignment. For this part, 
typically you want to select it flush to the bottom of the part. So we'll say Z alignment is going to be on the bottom. And for the XY alignment, we'll go ahead and center it in the middle of the part. So now you see that our stock is centered. And we have room all around it to machine on the sides and stock lift uh, on the top. So after you have your stock aligned, we can go ahead and set the stock material here. For this part, uh, we can go ahead and set it to, for example, aluminum 6061, pick OK. If you want to see your material texture on the part, just select this toggle here, and it'll turn on your texture for your stock. We have our machine defined, our post defined. We have the stock created, defined, and aligned with the part. We have the material for the stock to find. Now, all we need to do now, is, this is an optional uh, process here. You can create a work zero that you can set up on your stock if you want to zero out and home out your machine on one of the corners. We can select work zero there. For instance, we'll set it to the stock box. We'll set the zero face to the highest Z and the zero position to the southwest corner and you can create a work zero here and you can check this box if you want to output your G54 work offsets. Pick generate and there's your work zero. So now this part is ready and set up and ready to create two and three axis operations uh, using these commands on the dialogs here. Well that's it for now. If you need any more help just uh, visit us on the web at www.mexopt.com. Thank you.